Hi guys, today we're going to talk about pole compensation and density adjustments. So I brought in, um, this is the same letter from an alphabet that, I, that I've bought, is uh, quite skinny. These are two inch letters. Um, so normally when I'm using this type of font, I'll adjust pole compensation, which is going to make um, the letter look bolder. Um, and I'm, I'm leaving the, this green age um, as it was digitized so that we can see the difference. So the green is um, just like uh, I bought. Um, I haven't made any adjustments to the blue and the pink, the pink yet. But what we're going to do is I'm going to hit Control and click on the number 2. So the only um, color stop that I have selected is this blue age. I'm going to um, go up to this green um, icon here at the top. Uh, it says Adjust Density. I'm going to click on it, and, and this icon actually does two things. It adjusts, adjusts sti stitch density and pole compensation. And the difference between these two is that pole compensation is going to make your satin wider, so it's going to make your font look bolder. Density adjusts um, st the stitch per inch count. So whenever you use a higher density factor, is going to make is going to fill up your satin um, more. So I, I want you to pay attention to this number of stitches that I ha have here on the side. So for this, these three letters, I have 2,484 stitches. So what I'm going to do here is um, pole compensation actually adjusts by tenths of a millimeter. So each number, each one that I add, so the, the, the original is zero, which is just as the di digitizer um, designed it. Each one that I add adds a tenth of a millimeter to the width of my satin. A tenth of a millimeter is really tiny. It's about a sixteenth of an inch or so. Um, so normally I bump it up uh, to about five, um, I, somewhere, somewhere between three and five. I haven't used bigger than five yet, but you can. Um, it's just that the font starts looking a little funny, um, sort of loses some of its character, I think. But five is okay. So that's half a millimeter. Again, it's just a tiny amount, and I want you to see the difference. Um, so I'm going to leave density um, as is. I don't have to change both of them together. They, they don't really work together if you think about it. Pole compensation, width of your column, and density, how many stitches per inch. So you're just going to fill this up more. So I'll hit OK. And now you can see that the letter, uh, the blue letter is fatter or is bolder than the one in green. So um, this would make this type of alphabet a little bit more use, um, useful. Um, the, I have it zoomed on the screen, but you know this is actually quite skinny. Um, the, the blue normally works better. So this is with the pole compensation adjusted by five. Now, I'm going to adjust density on the pink letter, but before I do that, so that you can see the difference, I'm going to uh, turn off texture. So um, I turn off texture so you can actually see the stitches on the screen a little better. Now, look at the number, 2,484. So when I adjust pull, it did not change the number of stitches. It's the same stitches, they, they're just wider. Um, now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hit Control and um, the number 3. And so the only letter that is highlighted is the pink letter. Go back to that green um, icon at the top. Adjust density. So now um, density is adjusted in so a pro is adjusted in percentage. Um, so uh, a a number one, which is a default, means 100% or 100% of what the digitizer had. Um, when I go up to 1.1, that means 10% additional stitches, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to adjust it by um, 40%. Um, I would only, I very, very rarely do I adjust density. Um, only when I see that it's the the digitizer skimped a bit and, and my stitches are looking far apart um, on a satin column um, that I would bump this up. But normally um, they do a pretty good job, and so I don't want to adjust this very much. I do adjust full compensation um, relatively frequently, uh, but not density. But um, so I put 1.4. This means that um, this H is going to have 40% more stitches per inch than originally. So click on OK, and now you can see the total number of stitches jumped up, 2,790, because for the pink letter, 
I and mean, I don't know if you can see the difference, but there's actually more pink lines going across. It doesn't change the width, um, but it just changes the amount of stitches per inch. Um, if I can zoom in a little, maybe you can see a little better. So there's more of these pink lines going across here. Um, and when I turn back texture, you, it's really hard to see, but if you have a design that is sparsely filled, um, that's what you want to do. So remember, this green icon, you can adjust full compensation, which is the width of your column, um, and density, um, which is the number of stitches per inch. So I hope this helps, and happy stitching.